Horology is the scientific study of time, encompassing both the measurement of time and the art of crafting timekeeping devices such as clocks and watches. As one can imagine, this is a vast world unto itself. And while I wouldn't consider myself to be a true watch enthusiast, I certainly have developed an appreciation and general interest in the study of measuring time and general watch craftsmanship over the years. There's a great deal that goes into watchmaking. The individual gears and gizmos working together to keep the timepiece ticking are, to this day, quite the marvel to behold. But suppose you are unsure about the various movement types for modern watches. If that's the case, then this video is for you, as it is meant to introduce the three types of watch movements you should know about before delving into the hobby of starting, or even continuing, to build a personal collection of timepieces. What's up guys, I'm Chandler, you're watching Gentleman's Flare, and in this video we're talking about the three major watch movements. Movement refers to the assembly of components that exist within a watch, allowing it to tell the time. Movement is commonly regarded as the engine that powers a timepiece. Watch movements can be categorized into two main types, mechanical movements and quartz movements, each with distinct characteristics and advantages. Quartz movement relies on a small battery within the watch that transmits an electrical current to an installed quartz crystal, which vibrates and causes the gears to turn continuously, allowing the wearer to accurately tell the time. This construction method was first pioneered by Seiko back in 1959 and has since prevailed as the most appealing option for mass market consumption due to its affordable implementation. Nowadays, you'll find many fast fashion watch brands utilizing some variation of quartz movement for their watches because it requires less money to produce. Since quartz watches are battery powered, they must eventually be replaced over time. Luckily, this is relatively easy to manage, but your experience may vary depending on which quartz watch you choose. Purchase one or multiple quartz watches if you only care about a timepiece's appealing aesthetic. Suppose you're not super jazzed about the daily ritual of winding a watch or the general craftsmanship that goes into a mechanical timepiece's construction. In this case, Quartz watches are often the most affordable and straightforward choice. Mechanical watches must be physically wound each day. However, some higher-end brands of mechanical watches are crafted with sufficient storage efficiency, allowing them to last several days without needing to be wound at all. Powering a mechanical watch occurs by turning the crown, which tensions the inner mainspring within the case. This mainspring gradually releases tension, providing power to the various networks of gears that enable the watch to keep time. Many watch enthusiasts admire the craftsmanship of mechanical watches and the practice of manually winding them each day. Just know that you're going to have to do the same if you invest in this type of watch. If you're interested in committing to learning more about horology and mechanical timepieces in general, then purchasing one of this variety can prove to be a rewarding experience. Automatic watches are categorized as mechanical because they fundamentally operate in much the same way. What differentiates automatic watches is that they do not require manual winding of the crown to tension the mainspring. Instead, automatic watches contain a weighted watch rotor that utilizes the kinetic energy generated by the natural movement of the wearer's wrist to tension the mainspring. This rotor swings freely within the casing, winding the watch automatically simply by moving the wrist. If left dormant for a prolonged period, the watch will resume operation shortly after the rotor begins moving again, but you will most likely need to recalibrate it to match the correct time of day. This type of movement is relatively new and has only existed since the early 20th century. Most higher-end watch brands will offer both mechanical and automatic movement functionalities, and they tend to be more expensive than quartz watches. Personally, I recommend purchasing one or more automatic watches if you are serious about horology or watch collecting. If money is not an issue for you, then that's great, but if you are short on cash, consider your purchase of an automatic timepiece very carefully. Mechanical and automatic watch movements often require periodic maintenance, including manual winding and cleaning. On the other hand, quartz watch movements require very minimal maintenance, with battery replacement typically needed every one to two years. Watch movement maintenance requires skilled craftsmanship and attention to detail, with a focus on preserving the movement's accuracy and reliability. 
Look, I understand that not everyone wears a watch, which becomes apparent when people ask others what the time is. But possessing a versatile timepiece isn't just crucial for knowing the time of day, it also completes your outfit. Believe it or not, some accessories can add that little extra flair to further enhance your overall look. And watches are no exception. Just like how you choose to dress, wearing a nice wristwatch often communicates something about you, such as being a man who values the time and keeps it in mind. A watch doesn't have to be expensive, but it should be well made to ensure for longevity of wear. Take what you have learned from this video and choose wisely how to spend your hard-earned dollars. Until next time, gentlemen, stay stylish and stay blessed.